We have here a PICV, a pressure independent control valve, and this is a smaller version of it with a threaded connection. And it contains, as the name says, a control valve, but also a pressure differential controller that make sure that disturbances in the pipes are separated from the control valve so that it can work by itself in a stable fashion. In addition, we see here on the top a dial that allows us to set the maximum flow for this valve, which is then basically the hydronic balancing. Now let's have a closer look at the inner parts. We now see a little bit into the inside of this PICV, this pressure independent control valve. And the control valve, of course, is the main part. And you see when we move here the valve stem, you see how it works between zero and 100% opening. And this bell here that you see, this is the pressure differential controller. It's a mechanical device that basically make sure that disturbances in the pipes are not influencing the control valve so that it stays in a stable position. On top we have this dial nut to set the maximum flow and now let's have a look to the inside from the other side to see how this is achieved, this setting of the maximum flow in the valve itself. Now we have a look into the valve and when I turn the dial you see this black part moving and this is basically an additional obstruction of the flow which makes sure that only a maximum flow goes through the valve. Important to notice is this is independent of the control valve itself so while we set the maximum flow the control valve always operates between zero and 100%.